Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at my favourite Switch eShop deals coming in under $10 or your local currency and as always I'm covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. I've got 12 games for you all of this week, a whole host of new low prices as well so hit subscribe but join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily and let's get started. If you are grabbing anything this week then head to cornershop.gg and grab a discounted official eShop gift cards with instant delivery. You can use code CORNER at checkout for 10% off and it supports the channel directly as we do get a small kickback. The support over there as well it's been huge so I seriously do appreciate it. This week as well I do keep seeing comments for it so I will be making a return to the Switch Gems series this coming week. I've got 25 or so episodes already live on the channel, 5 games apiece and I've linked the playlist in the pinned comment below. Hopefully though a few of you will be happy to see it back, it's definitely a fun one to make. Dusk Diver then to kick us off, always a popular shout out and it's rocking a new low price here, 75% off. There is a sequel out currently in Japan with English but it is coming to the west now in the next couple of months. We'll say though I've heard mixed opinions on the Switch port but the first it's definitely a solid action beat em up that finds you joining a band of basically gods and defending this world. Think though 3D combat and dungeon crawling that's punctuated them with that real world exploration and dialogue. I enjoyed the story and the characters and the colourful of real world even where the population is represented by these colourful silhouettes but it was the dungeons that disappointed. They're a little too repetitive and grey in their colour palette. Check out my full review though in the pinned comment down below and see if it's going to be one for you. Tanuki Justice then will be for those that enjoy a hardcore run and gun style platformer. This one it's a new low price for those in the UK, EU and Australia and then it's matching in the US and Canada but this game it is a gem and well worth the price of admission as you take on the role of brother or sister and set out on what is a path of destruction. I love the old school officials though myself and the music is quality as well as it drives the action with this incredibly basically fast pace. Finally then it's packing single player and local co-op as well and it comes highly recommended with this current 60% off. Super Cyborg then while I'm on the old school and this is also for the run and gun fans out there but a little more think traditional Contra-esque in its design. It even in fact features a few moments where it goes top down. This one I reviewed it myself on the channel, you can find that in the pinned comment below but it's another hidden gem that released at a seriously budget price point and absolutely justifies it. The character looks sure a little bland honestly in design but outside of that fun enemies, good levels, great controls and a solid challenge ahead of you. It's matching the low price then, 43% off. Kill La Kill then gets a new low price here, 67% off. It's a game that for sure receives what I'd call mixed opinions. I wouldn't pay full a price honestly due to what is a limited roster of characters. Can't say I've even watched the anime so I can't judge it there either. But it's an arena brawler with solid 3D visuals and it covers moments from the show directly. Honestly though I had fun with it, the combat is obviously fast paced, it's definitely heavy and it's even packing in then offline 2 player and online play though, never tried the latter and I can't imagine it's exactly easy to find an opponent. I like the genre though when I just kind of want to turn my brain off. A quick shout out then to Capcom Arcade Stadium, this is actually a free online launcher let's say and you can pick up a slew of classic arcade games individually. Now right now though they are 50% off so a dollar each or your regional equivalent and there's about 30 games on offer. I'll let you dig in but a few noticeable classics for me, you've got Ghosts and Goblins, Bionic Commando and Street Fighter 2 to name just a few. While worth a look though and a quick eShop search with the term Capcom Arcade Stadium should give you all of the details you need. 3000th Duola then is a metroidvania in its essence and you'll take on the role of a hero with no memory. Definitely strategic, almost souls like in its combat but this is a huge world. 300 connected locations, over 150 enemies and bosses, tons of weapons and then you'll be leveraging different styles of attack as well. So think blades for speed or maybe a lance for range. 
The concept though uncover the truth behind your past but I will warn you here it's pretty challenging to open up and that first hour or so I would call it a bit of a slow burn or at least it was for me. Same goes for the visuals as well of that 3D model kind of style in their 2D world. I wasn't sure myself at first but I definitely came around to it as I got into the gameplay. It's a new low price here, 65% off and it also received a free DLC upgrade it's called the wise ones it added 150 new regions equipment and even a new game plus welcome to hanwala then will be for the horror fans a 3d first person experience it's featuring combat a whole lot of running as well this one i love the london setting that you find yourself in but this is a steal here with 87 percent off a new low price basically your worst nightmares they've come to life and you are out now to investigate them which you know lovely i know Worst case so luck, it's London, head to the pub. Can't guarantee though you will get a pint. I was seriously impressed with the port and I was actually really excited about the studio as well. Sadly though, they went on to make a couple of awful World of the War games, one of which actually releases on the Switch today. It's called Darker Skies, fired at that terrible piece of work. Hopefully though, they get over that series and return to form. Gala Gun 2 then and you know I'm keeping it classy, an on rails shooter where you control a pheromone gun and shoot demons who have taken over the girls of this academy. Can't say it's a good game and I know I reviewed it here on the channel, you can find that linked below. But look it's super cheap here, a new low, 75% off and you're not, well let's face it, really coming here for a good game so much, rather you're coming for let's say a B movie vibe. Probably not a good one for kids, even if it's about as tame as they come, honestly. You know, it's all about suggestive themes. Alex Kidd in Miracle World DXN is here with a new low, 65% off. It's a rebuild of the original, but of course with new HD graphics, gameplay improvements, as well as new animations. They even threw in then some new levels, which was definitely a nice touch as expansions go. Incredibly difficult game, honestly, between its platforming and, you know, the enemies. It's definitely one I'll say you'll probably get frustrated with, but I grew up on it, so I'm definitely a fan. If you're not feeling that whole new fancy look, then you can still go ahead and switch back to the old school look and even sound if you do prefer it that way. It even then packs a boss rush mode around the rock, paper, scissors battles, and it completely stressed me out. Check out my full review though in the pinned comment below. Our penultimate game of the week then, a robot named a fight, it's matching the low in the UK, EU and Australia and then hitting the low price cap for those in the US and Canada, but we definitely don't see this one on sale all that often, I'll call it a hidden gem, it released way back in 2018 and it's for sure since then gained a cult following. The idea though it's a roguelite action adventure and you are a lone robot out to stop what's called the Mega Beast. Basically you were abandoned on this world, kind of watch over it, but now evil has appeared, only you can stop it. Procedurally generated, packs a ton of power-ups and secrets to uncover, and yeah look, good stuff. I particularly like the old school visual style. It's currently then 85% off, and this one easily, easily worth it. Unmetal then to close us out in this game, it's a recent release and a gem as well at that with 50% off. It is a love letter to early days Metal Gear Solid, but it's just got this great sense of humour and you'll be taking on the role of Jesse Fox who has been imprisoned, wrongly basically accused of a crime that you did not commit. Now we must escape. Think everything here from stealth to combat. Along the way though, we'll gain experience and skills, face more than a few references to classic games, and yeah, don't want to give too much away here, it received great reviews though at launch, and those were well deserved, especially if you enjoy its core Metal Gear influence. Though I will at least add here, it definitely goes way beyond just that as well, with all of its references. And that is the week down, remember then to head to cornershop.gg, save a bit of extra cash on your eShop purchase by grabbing a gift card through the website, it is instant delivery and you get 10% off at checkout with code CORNER, so basically everyone wins as we do receive a small kickback as well. Will you be adding anything to the library this week though or holding onto that cash? A shout out then to the patrons of the channel who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner, it helps more than you know so thank you all so much then hit subscribe but join us here on switch corner for reviews and deals near daily and i'll see you all 
on the next video. Thanks everyone.